to say, I love you, I want good things for you, you have to quit worshiping other gods. You have to focus on me because I brought you out of Egypt. I, I've given you everything you need, and I want you to have a good life. We are going to be talking um, um, immediately uh, about something that is in our society now. In our, and have come into the churches, have slipped into the churches, and that is um, uh, things, the labyrinth, the, the green movement, and um, where that is all going. But um, I want to spend some time talking about the labyrinth. Uh, and just, yeah, uh, just I would be happy to talk to you, tell you a little bit about what I know. And the labyrinths were first built for King Minos of Crete at Knossos uh, almost 3,000 years ago. And that was a, 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 a tunnel that was dug into a cave, and it was used to hold the Minotaur, which was half man and half bull. And when the people would come, when messengers or, or special people would come to the king, he would send people into the labyrinth. And if they retrieved something from the labyrinth and were not killed by the Minotaur, he would reward them and give them whatever they needed. But unfortunately, 98% of the time, the people were killed and did not come out. And really, the, the labyrinth is really a term that it is connected with death, that when you go in, you're really dying, and when you come out, you come out on a dimensional door on the other side in a triumphant return. And if you go to Egypt, many of the pyramids, and the pyramids were just really uh, tombs for the dead pharaohs, and they had labyrinths put in there. And when the pharaohs were laid in their tombs, they would bring everything they needed for the journey to the new world that they were going to. They would bring all their slaves, their gold, their beds, their chariots, their horses, and everything else. And they would kill all the people so that when the pharaoh, who had died in this world, went through the labyrinth, went through the maids, went over the river, and came out into that new dimension, he would have everything he needed to live a triumphant life as a newborn ruler. Uh, the only difference that people don't really understand is that the New Age movement, uh, the Satanists, the Luciferians, and the Wiccans tend to uh, use the labyrinth for their own means uh, to do things and to travel between worlds which is in their religion, which is what they believe. Yeah. Today we see corn mazes all over, the, all over the country and all over the world. And a maze refers to a complex, which is branching out in a very circular way, in a very confusing way. And the labyrinth has always meant one single, one non-binding path from one world to another world. And in the olden days, there were women who would be the, the keepers of the Lazarus. And over a period of time, these women became known as goddesses, and they were worshipped as a, as a new god in different places. We see that in Egypt. We saw that in Babylon. We see it in many places around the world, particularly in India and in third world countries. Now, a little bit ago, you were talking about the Green Movement. The Green Movement is really a religious movement which is has as this goddess, Mother Earth. And uh, these people are so fearful that human beings are destroying Mother Earth, and they believe very strongly that the human kind or human beings are parasites that are harming Mother Earth, that they would really like to reduce the amount of people living on the world from almost six and a half, seven billion to maybe half a billion people because they believed that that would be advantageous for Mother Earth and for them to worship their new goddess. Yeah, that sounds dangerous. Uh, um, and uh, that's something that uh, unfortunately is developing. Um, w when we're talking about the labyrinth, I want to talk about that um, uh, first. Um, but I know in a, in a sense it kind of goes hand in hand. Um, are, have you heard of the Labyrinth Society? Yes. Okay. Um, well, I just want to read a couple of things here and then have you comment. Uh, All right. According to the Labyrinth Society, their vision is to activate and facilitate the transformation of the human spirit. These Labyrinth groups offer workshops about the Labyrinth 
for divine imprint, mystical tradition, as a sacred path and gateway, and is used by the New Age practitioners to transcend into an altered state of consciousness. Those promoting prayer and meditation, labyrinth, labyrinths use a Catholic cathedral, not Bible scripture, as historical precedents for their use because the medieval cathedral of Our Lady of uh, Chartres, however you say that, outside Paris, France, has a prayer labyrinth. And so uh, the labyrinth society apparently is um, using the history of uh, labyrinths being allowed in a church to promote labyrinths um, around all the churches. And can you talk, um, expound on that and the uh, problem with this? Yes, I, yes, I will. And the labyrinth society is no different than any new age, new religion or cult. You know, Hare Krishna believed the same way. The, the moon movement that came from uh, uh, Korea and all these things that have gone on and even Jim Jones was a cult leader who believed many of those same things 